everybody my name is dhwani gupta in today's session we are going to learn new english vocabulary words which will help you to increase your vocabulary and will also help you to clear clat and other judiciary exams so let's move forward and increase our vocabulary the first word for the day is embankment so it is a very common word which we have often heard in geography meaning is an artificial slope made of earth or stones so embankment is an artificial slope which is slightly raised made of earth or stones so as to prevent water from flooding okay sentence the embankment was washed out by the storm to so, jab storm aayi to jo embankment tha that was completely washed away okay the next word is bell weather meaning something that leads or indicates a trend कोई चीज जो कि लीड करती है या ट्रेंड बताती है जो लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड चल रहा है दैट इज बेल वेदर सेंटेंस फॉर डी के कंपनी वॉज द बेल वेदर ऑफ द ब्रिटिश इकोनॉमी सो फॉर डी के कंपनी इंडिकेटेड द ट्रेंड ऑफ द ब्रिटिश इकोनॉमी ओके द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज एम्बिट मीनिंग द रेंज और लिमिट ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ समथिंग किसी चीज की जो लिमिट होती है या रेंज होती है उसे बोलते हैं एम्बिट sentence they believe that all the outstanding issues should fall within the ambit of the talks wo log ye mante hain ki jitne bhi issues pending chal rahe hain wo sab jo talks chal rahe hain it will fall within the range it will fall within the range of the talks okay the next word is salvage meaning to save goods from damage or destruction especially from a ship that has sunk or been damaged or a building that has been damaged by fire or flood salvage ka matlab hota hai goods ko bachana damage or destruction se kahin se bhi aap bacha sakte ho like especially jaise ki koi ship hai which has been sunk तो जितना भी शिप में गुड्स डैमेज हुए हैं उसे सेव करना या कोई बिल्डिंग जो कि द बिल्डिंग विच हैज बीन डैमेज्ड बाय फायर और फ्लड सेंटेंस आफ्टर द फायर देयर वाजंट मच फर्नीचर लेफ्ट वर्थ सैल्वेजिंग आग लगने के बाद इतना फर्नीचर नहीं बचा बचा कि उसे बचाया जाए ठीक है द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज ऑफ स्केट मीनिंग टू मेक समथिंग लेस क्लियर एंड हार्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड स्पेशली इंटेंशनली जब आप इंटेंशनली चीजों को कंफ्यूज कर देते हो उनको जिससे कि वो समझ में नहीं आए या मुश्किल से समझ में आए दैट इज ऑफ दिस्केट सेंटेंस शी वॉज क्रिटिसाइज फॉर यूजिंग आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट ऑफ दिस्केटेड द मेन इशू उसको बहुत डीपली क्रिटिसाइज किया गया क्योंकि वो ऐसे आर्ग्यूमेंट्स यूज कर रही थी जो मैटर को और कॉम्प्लिकेट कर रहे थे राधर देन सॉल्व करने की बजाय okay the next word is moot so moot has got two meanings the first meaning is to suggest something for discussion koi cheez suggest jab aap karte ho kisi discussion mein yeah and the second meaning is often discussed or argued about have about but having no definite answer koi cheez jisko kafi baar discuss kar chuke hain kafi baar argue kar chuke hain jiske liye lekin fir bhi koi definite answer nahi mil raha hai sentence It's a moot point whether building more roads reduces traffic congestion. ये एक बहुत ही common topic of discussion बन चुका है कि क्या roads और roads बनाने से क्या traffic congestion कम होगा क्या traffic jams कम लगेंगे So it is it has become a very uh, well argued discussed point. Okay. The next word is dovish, meaning supporting discussion or other peaceful solutions in political relationships rather than the use of force. तो वो लोग जो कि peaceful solutions को support करते हैं as compared to violent solutions, forceful solutions, that is called dovish. Sentence: He is a dovish politician who was one of the signers of the Model Peace Treaty. तो वो एक dovish politician है मतलब a supporter of peace person who always suggests peaceful solutions. and he was also the one who signed the model peace treaty okay the next word is paving the way for as the word suggest rasta banana aur cheeze growth progress ho jisse ho sake to us cheez ke liye rasta banana development ke liye rasta banana meaning to make it possible or easier for something or someone to follow sentence 
data from the space flight should pave the way for a more detailed exploration of mars to jitna bhi data space flight se milega usse it will make easier for scientist to have a more detailed exploration of mars okay so these were the words for the day now it's time for the quiz please write the meaning of the following word first word is naysayer second privy third dead in the water fourth guzzle please write the meaning of the following words All right, now time for answers. The first word is naysayer. Someone who says something is not possible, is not good, or will fail. Koi aisa naysayers are people who are with a very negative attitude, who always say that something is not possible, not good, will fail. They don't have a positive attitude towards things. The next word is privy. To be told information that is not told to many people. Aisi information ka pata chalna jo ki bahut secretive hai, jo ki zada logo ko nahi pata. dead in the water something which is which has failed there is no hope that this thing will succeed so completely unlikely to succeed gazel to use large amounts of petrol very quickly kisi cheez ko bahut zyada amount mein use karna wo bhi bahut jaldi that is called gazel okay so that's all for today the session ends here i'll be back with more english vocabulary videos i'll repeat it once again please go through these slides once again so that you can retain these words use them in your vocabulary and expand your horizons of english thank you very much please like and keep sharing